，你好。
I'd like to just very briefly just go through the, the main aspects of the course-oriented approach according to Forschmitt, the bioresonance that we propagate according to Forschmitt. What is the philosophy? Um, we are having a system of testing and we identify and reduce all the causal differences. For example, the body needs energy. This is something also quite simple and quite common sense. If you want to um, achieve a regulation in the body, the body needs energy. And there are various ways that this can be achieved with our system. We also have devices. I have one in my pocket, I'll show it to you now. I will talk a little bit more about it. Looks like that. This is a, just a small, the smallest, one of the smallest devices that uh, we do. Um, at Rhinox, it addresses the energy problem in the body inside. You have a resident system that generates frequency of 12.5 which is generally known as a um, life-giving and life-enhancing frequency uh, to counteract any stress or burden that is placed on the organ. More about that in a short while. Um, we need to look at deficiencies in the body. Yeah, I already mentioned the s balance. Um, the Ryanair system includes a number of um, vital substances. These are um, complementary substances to the uh, bioresonance therapy, like an alkaline solution and um, a few other products, and I will uh, introduce them all in a moment. Intestinal flora, very important. This is also one of the products propagated through Rhinox. Why? Because as you probably know, about 80% of the immune system resides in the small intestines of the body. And so it is very important to have the right milieu or the right environment in the small intestine. And we at Rhinox, we believe the right milieu and the right environment is the most important aspect to help the body heal itself. So very often we actually call this whole system environmental therapy or milliliter therapy. And I think it's very much at the root of what the Rhinox system is all about. Detoxification. Now over the course of a lifetime, people accumulate a lot of toxins. Because if you want it or not, the truth is that we do live in quite a toxic environment. Now toxins come from food, like pesticides for example, there's heavy metals, um, there's other environmental substances that also weaken the immune system and weaken um, the cell metabolism of the body. So it is very important to rid the body of these um, harmful substances. So detoxification is another very important aspect um, of the system. I already mentioned electromagnetic pollution. Electromagnetic pollution means our um, wireless technology that has shot up in recent years, the man-made frequencies that we are exposed to in the environment have increased million folds over the last 10 years. Unfortunately, these kind of um, frequencies, the man-made frequencies, often also known as uh, microwave radiation, they have a detriment effect on the body. We know this through research, and there's more and more research coming to the fore proving this. So I will be showing you a few of these things as well. And again, we have developed a number of uh, products. Um, the names are for the ELO rides, the e smoke and the high frequency rhinators. I will show those to you in a moment. They address these problems. And then um, I already mentioned very briefly the geological disturbances and or geopathic interference fields. These are actually naturally occurring um, uh, disturbances from the earth itself. So if you would be exposed to this, let's say, in your sleeping place, under the bed, or in your workplace, it can make you very ill. And again, uh, this is documented very well through um, 
lot of the research that is available on the subject. So, the next point, number three, then on this list is the bioresonance therapy itself that um, you can do with the uh, bioresonance system for Schmidt. There's two uh, devices, we call them the um, Riacom PS1000 Polar and the Riacom PS10. So this is a brief overview and um, if you can't remember any of that, no problem. Yeah. First of all, I'll bring it all back now in a little bit more detail and as I said, we have all the information for you ready if you'd like to see later on. So, just a little bit about the company itself. We are based in Lennestadt, that is um, not far from a city called Cologne. For those of you who have ever been to Germany, yeah, in the western part of the country. And it's been there since 30 years. And all the development and production and all the sales um, are at the headquarters in Lennestadt. And as you can see on this picture, it's a very unique environment where we um, run this company because it consists of a number of pyramids. Uh, we know from research also that inside pyramids you have a, a very positive energetic environment and also the pyramids have been built according to uh, building biological uh, parameters for the very environmentally friendly. Inside the pyramids you have a, a conducive environment, a healthy conducive environment for people who are working at the company. There's different aspects, uh, different areas there. For example, we have a therapy center, obviously very important, where we do much of the research and also, of course, where we show our uh, clients and the stewardships how the therapy works. And obviously, we also have people coming to uh, actually receive treatment. There is an academy that is part of it, also very important because we of course want to spread um, the uh, bioresonance according to Paul Schmidt, but also it's a school for naturopaths to learn the uh, naturopathic way um, of well-being and it's combined with bioresonance according to Paul Schmidt. So people who come to our school for, bio, for uh, naturopathic training, they also learn how to use the system. I already mentioned we've been sales in uh, 37 countries, especially in Asia. And um, there are now about 60,000 users in Germany alone. 5,700 doctors and naturopaths are using the system in Germany alone. And um, there's extensive quality management that takes place at the headquarters as well. Uh, because obviously all the devices that we develop they need to have certification, uh, also in many, many countries, so this is an important aspect of our work. And the interest is growing rapidly and exponentially, especially in recent years. And that's why we're here. That's one of the reasons why we're here. Very briefly, I won't uh, take very long, I know I only have about an hour altogether, but just to give you a brief idea about uh, what bioresonance is all about and where it comes from. Uh, in the Middle Ages it was believed um, that all matter is actually solid and it, you can't divide it any further and this uh, has been documented through the model of the atom. I'm sure most people are familiar with this idea. We can do a little mind game to illustrate something, I come to that. If you would remove all the distance, i.e. the space between the you know the core of the atom, the protons and the electrons that are whizzing around um, the nucleus of the atom, uh, our world would be smaller by the factor of ten thousand. The person 1 meter 80 tall would shrink to the size of 0.18 millimeter, and that at the same rate. The planet Earth would have a diameter of just 4 kilometers. So what this shows us is actually this um, that 
our senses perceive only the shells and not actually what else is going on inside. The actual content. And the crucial question is, what is our world actually made of? We now know from quantum physics that um, the smallest particle that we thought were the smallest are actually made of, of even smaller particles. And, and we don't know where that ends. But I think the big discovery that was interesting was um, that elementary particles can exist in two ways. They can either exist as a particle or as a wave. And the wave form of a particle is the one that interests us with bio resonance falling to Boschmann. And the existence of a particle is actually dependent on how you observe it, how you look at a particle. So, um, it makes it very clear that our world and we ultimately consist of vibration. Because the waveform of a particle means it's in constant movement and it's a vibrational phenomenon. So, we consist and exist because of frequencies or oscillations. And actually, every frequency also has polarity, plus or minus. We call it the rotation of the spin. So, in the approach of virus and supporting the we can recognize that anything and everything consists of vibration. And it's the interaction of these um, oscillations that interest us. Because everything is in constant uh, communication and relationship. Even we are right now. Yeah? We are listen, talking and listening. But at the end of the day, it's vibration. And uh, the conclusion of all of this, and this is the most important part of this, with the right frequency, if we are, if we are able to affect um, life or matter on this level, on the vibrational level, on the frequency level, then it can also affect a regulation that can filter down into regulation of the organism. Because the highest quality factor of matter is vibration. So if you can influence um, matter on this level, then we can also affect regulation, i.e. healing and well-being. So this is what we might do. For example, this approach explains um, how homeopathy works. Yeah, I'm sure many of you are familiar uh, with this particular modality. Because after some time of diluting a particular substance, you won't find any more uh, measurable particles. But still, we know that homeopathy actually effect, has an effect on the old. So this is a, uh, a nice way of explaining this phenomenon. Yes, and even the food that we eat is vibration. So, and, and I think it's a very important one as well. And I think it's also one of the causal influences because the food also affects our own. So he wrote this, said, your food should be your medicine, and your medicine should be your food. The easiest way to explain bioresonance is actually the sunlight. I will mention this very briefly. It's a frequency range of 750 to 1500 tetrahertz. It's a harmonious sinus waveform. This is also very important. I'll come back to that in a moment. And different things are stimulated by the sunlight. Yeah. Like, for example, production of melatonin, pigments, pigmentation, like um, tanning of the skin vitamin D, and so forth. And what Paul Schmidt postulated very early is that actually every frequency that exists has an effect on the organism. So, the interesting bit about the sunlight is you need certain parameters in place in order to affect the organism. We call it the biological window. So, for example, if you take out a certain spectrum of the sunlight, like the ultraviolet one, yeah? i.e. you put sunscreen onto your skin, then the tanning process is no longer happening. We also know um, 
from experience that just going into the sauna will not tan the skin. So the heat is not what does it? It's the ultraviolet um, part of the of the sun. So you need different parameters in place to affect the organism. And ideally, obviously, you want those factors uh, that are uh, in place that affect the, the organism in a positive way. Yeah, this, this is why I'd like to look at this with you briefly. What is a good frequency and what is a bad frequency? Both um, of these examples that you see here are operating in what we call the biological window. They both affect the organism, but one of them affects it in a positive way, and the other, like here in this example, um, I think this is a, I think it's a psoriasis example. And the red frequency is affecting this little chick that was exposed to um, uh, rectangular waveforms. As we know from orthodox medicine, actually, that rectangular waveform, uh, waveforms and square waveforms are being used in radiation therapy. So it's a direct effect on the organism in order to affect some regulation or heating. But there's also uh, waveforms, um, if you use them, for example, with more intensity for a longer period of time, then they can cause harm to the organism. So we know in general that the sinus waveform of a frequency has a beneficial effect. We know this through research, and we know that other waveforms have a detrimental effect. And the problem, thank you. I thought you were the most of these on So, and as I said before, yeah, the detrimental effect of a square wave, of a microwave form, is having, is causing a burden on the body, such as e small, what we call e small, or electromagnetic pollution, or neurological disturbances as well. More information on all of this and the science behind it, and in fact, um, the, the whole system of the whole system works um, is in, uh, in the book by Residence Accord and Portugal. There is a new uh, fourth edition out, it's already translated in uh, five different languages. And there's also something that was created last year um, from our company, which is called the Ryan's Wikipedia. So you can go, uh, you can follow um, the information here on the screen, and you can go and get uh, access to more than 400 videos on how the system works in detail. And again, translated into many languages. So, I'd like to briefly introduce you the two devices. And we have a special system that works with the memory card, we call it the green card. On the left hand side there you have the professional device, mainly used by practitioners and doctors in clinics and in private surgeries. Um, we call it the PS1000 uh, PS portal. And then there is a smaller device which is portable. And the good news about portable devices, the patient doesn't have to come into the clinic to get treatment. The patient, for example, can have treatment at home, yeah, in the comfort of their own home. For example, overnight, overnight treatments. It's also very useful uh, in research and for building biologists to make measurements. And the two devices work together very nicely with this green card system. So you can store the information that is needed, the treatment information, the frequencies on this card. And then, um, for example, on the uh, PS1000 color, and then give it to the patient, the patient puts it into the portable device, and the program runs automatically. So it's a wonderful uh, modular system that's available here. Uh, we've had a number of studies done in Germany to prove the efficacy and show um, the efficacy of the system. Um, one very important study, I'm just introducing a couple of them here, uh, they're all available via the website. This one shows um, 
that bioresonance, this is one of the great features of bioresonance of all of the it doesn't have any side effects. This is very exciting because you can use the system with pregnant women, infants, elderly. It doesn't matter. Why? Because the frequencies that are being generated in those devices are only tuned to the sinus waves, waveforms of the frequencies. In other words, they can only produce harmonious, life-enhancing, life-giving and um, uh, positive frequencies. What did the study show? It showed that um, there were no significant uh, that there was a significant effect, but no side effect in the cells through the treatment with those devices. Again, the details of the study you can get from the website. The mini arrangements. Yeah, this little device is the oldest device. Um, we started making this 30 years ago. And the devices that were made 30 years ago that are in the clinic, they're still working. There is no moving parts, there is no batteries. It is a resonant system inside. Um, I don't want to go into all the details of the system, please refer to the book. But I'd like to tell you what this can do. Portugal's idea was that the body needs energy for regulation. And in the presence of many birds, the body needs extra energy. This device is delivering that. For example, uh, to counteract and to balance, to counterbalance the East Home and geopathic stress and diseases. Um, this device is known to uh, enhance the production of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is the energetic metabolism of the, of the cells. There was a study made at the Dutch Scientific Institute in Germany. We've taken one of these devices and sandwiched it in between cell cultures. So cell cultures on top, mini arrangements in the middle, cell cultures at the bottom to, to see how it actually affects those cell cultures. I have to say the results were quite sensational. As you can see here, yeah, there was uh, an up to 45% increase in the cell activity in one day due to this device. Um, there is also a lot of anecdotal evidence about how the device can uh, help with wound healing and promote health. Um, I have one as well because I wrote my talk about, I think about a month ago or so, or maybe two months ago, I forgot. Uh, I was playing football with my kids in the garden and I jerked my toe and it was broken. I went to the dog and the dog said, Sorry, it's broken. It would take about six weeks to heal. So I thought, okay, I, I, I test this device. So I strapped, I strapped the device to my foot, to my toe. I wrapped it around and only took it off when I had to change the bandage. So I was wearing it 24 hours a day. When I took it off again after, I thought, you know, I better check what's going on there after five days. I took it off and after five days, my toe felt normal. It felt like, oh, this is nice. I can walk again, there's no pain. So I went back to the doctor. And the doctor looked at it and he said, I think I made a mistake. <laughs> and he looked at the x-ray and he said, maybe, it's, maybe I made a mistake. Uh, I knew better. So, I was quite impressed with this, and since then I'm, uh, I'm a strong believer yeah, in the in the mini -rangers. Oh, I have a friend who has uh, a chicken coop with chicken, and one day the chicken were very impressed for some reason. He didn't know why. She, they stopped laying eggs, so he was he was very unhappy with that. And he took the mini rangers and said, "Oh, you have to try it." Put the mini rangers into the chicken coop. And then in the next morning, the chickens were running around very happy and started laying eggs again. <laughs> but you can make of that what you like, but um, it happened that way. So uh, here's another example of this study. You can see a simulated cut, yeah, like a wound, through the cell structure. And what it shows is 
that um, the video evidence increases the wound healing, the wound healing, for, for, by up to 20% in two days. You can even see this here on the picture. The uh, picture on the top it shows the gap is wide. So this is the control um, culture that wasn't treated with the mini-rhinex. And at the bottom you see the one that had the exported from the mini-rhinex and the gap is much smaller. So all of this, um, what is important to remember is inside this little device is exactly the same technology, the dipole antenna system um, it's called, that uh, coach we develop. It's the same system that you see in all of our devices. The only difference is here it's fixed to only one frequency that enhances energy in the body. Whereas in the devices you can dial, so to speak, you can choose a whole, the whole range of frequencies from low frequency to very high frequency to effect regulation in the body. So I already told you, you can download the studies by going to the Portuguese Academy website. Here's uh, some examples of how they use the system. Yeah, divided up into acute illnesses and chronic illnesses. We do a checkup usually with the system. Um, we analyze causal influences. Please remember, this is the most important aspect of the whole therapy. First, look at the causal influences, check the lifestyle, check the uh, situation that the uh, patient is in, and then give the therapy. Treatment, maybe three times a week if it's an acute, an, an acute illness. With chronic illnesses, um, we do the same, but we make sure that there is more energy given to the body, because in chronic conditions, a person needs more energy. And, um, Treatment may be no more than once or twice a week. We can store all the information on the treatment onto the green card, and then often the patients are renting a device, they can also buy a small portable device and do the therapy at home if they can't come to the clinic. It's also economically very viable to be done this way. So, another summary here of the system. First of all, we check for the individual frequencies that are disturbed in the body that need enhancement and balancing. And we have a, a special method for that, which I'll show you in a moment. We store all the information on the card, and then we do the therapy either with the professional um, the large device or the photo of smaller device. We're reducing the quality influences, I already named them, e small, geographic stress, the acid alkaline balance, detoxification, and the pathogens. Yeah, this is the summary here. What is the result? Hopefully, healthy patients and happy therapists. Uh, in, I have a clinic uh, in Scotland, where I live, and from my own experience, now I've been working with the system for many years, if you look at the causal influences meticulously, uh, you look at the, the deficiencies in, in the organism and you do the regular therapy, people always improve. There will always be something like, sometimes dramatic, sometimes maybe less dramatic, people always improve. Um, here is a, a brief overview of the entire system. Yeah, so we have some energetics and some causal influences, and then the entire physiology and pathology of the body, and also some other special programs. Again, if you want to know some of the details, come and visit us, please. There's a step-by-step -step approach to address all the different elements of the of the uh, organism. We first test all the headlines, all the main programs. If we see, oh, there is an imbalance here, there is some deficiencies here, then we go into the submenus of this program and check further which parts of the program are actually affected. Yeah. So, for example, um, if you look at the, at the liver, the gallon and the pancreas system, 
and we detect there is a problem there, then we check the liver separately, the gut separately, the pancreas separately, and then we check if there are two elements of the organ as well. And if necessary, then we also look into the pathology of this. All of this can be done with this system. Um, there is a special test that we perform, we call it the range value test, because it scans all of the frequency ranges from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 99.95 um, through the whole decadal system of the frequencies, i.e. the um, uh, frequency decades uh, in the uh, lowest frequency, hertz, kilohertz, megahertz, gigahertz. The whole range will be tested and shows results. Then we do the individual checkup with the programs that you've just seen before. Because we use energetic testing, we can test for foods, whether certain foods are actually uh, useful and beneficial for the organism or harmful to the organism. So, wonderful food. This includes also allergies and intolerances, of course. We can test medication. The patient can bring their medicines into the clinic. We can test what side effects these medications may produce for the organ. We can test the efficacy of medication energetically. A wonderful tool. The patient needs to change. This is an interesting one, yeah? Sometimes patients come into the clinic and they expect, you know, they give me a pill and I will be. Uh, again. But we all know that um, this doesn't work that way. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a holistic approach that works. And part of that is that yes, maybe there are some lifestyle changes, maybe even uh, some uh, mental and emotional changes that need to take place in the person. So we also take this into consideration. Very and movement, yeah. people need to move. <laughs> in some sensible way as well, to help support the body's metabolism. So all of these things are also very important exercise in movement. Completely holistic approach. We have a special uh, development of a scan, of an automatic scanning system that we developed very recently, last year. So this is the latest innovation. Uh, we are using an ECG, an electrocardiogram, to do this. Um, it's not being used to find out if there's a problem with the heart, like in orthodox medicine. We're using it to find out the subtle changes that occur in the heart rate of the person when we introduce a frequency. This is an ingenious system. It took more than 10 years to develop. It had um, much support from the German government that funded um, this research to a large extent, so it had a lot of attention. We think it will become quickly the standard in energetic testing. Every time we introduce a frequency to the body, there is a subtle change in the heart rate variance of the person. This, these changes are being recorded with a computer, takes second or less than that, and later on, we can see the results. So here we use four electrodes usually placed on the torso of the body. Quite simple to actually get the measurement done. On the next slide, you can see um, the, the heart rate there. Yeah, it's, a, it's a proper ECG, which is a, a hardware that is being um, put inside the, the PS1000 polar device. And on the right hand side there, on the top right hand side, you see a list of frequencies here where it says 87 point something. So these are all the frequencies. Every three heartbeats, a new frequency is introduced to the organism and is being measured. The end result will look something like that. And the system will um, isolate automatically the 68 frequencies, which are the most important ones that the body needs. So what you have here is the individual fingerprint, like an individual key, energetic key of the person, completely unique to this person and to this partner. 
and we do harmonize and um, feed those frequencies into the body to um, affect the regulation that the body needs. Because these are the exact frequencies that are deficient in the body. What are the advantages? The big advantage of the system obviously is it's an easy entrance in the world of the bioresonance called enforcement by means of an automatic measuring system. So if you're new to the system, um, there's other manual measurement uh, techniques as well. With this, you can immediately start. And also it's easy to delegate. So even a very busy practitioner in a very busy practice can use the system very easily. And uh, Paul Schwick would have been very happy about this. Um, no energetic influence of the patient and therapist. Many of the energetic therapies, um, uh, sorry, measurement systems that we know have a problem in this area. Because you touch the patient, yeah, in kinesiology, or with um, uh, checking the meridians, for example, on the fingers, with electroacupuncture, yeah, you have, uh, there's always the danger of contra contamination between you know, energetics of the therapist and the energetics of the patient. With this automatic scanning system, you don't have that problem. I said earlier, we have a number of right substances which uh, work hand in hand with the system that we're using. So here you have a, a brief uh, representation of those substances. I go through this with you. We have a product called right base. It's an alkaline mineral powder. These substances that we use here, they are the building blocks. They are the vital building blocks that the body needs in order to perfect a regulation in the body with bioresonance. So if there is a deficiency in this area, for example, it is very difficult to perfect any regulation. The body needs these building blocks. So we can test for these deficiencies with the system. We can find out, okay, what's going on in terms of minerals and um, in terms of vitamins and the intestinal flora. And if there is problems there, we give those products, high quality products, to the patient that have been developed by the company. So apart from the right base, we have a bath salt, which helps with the detoxification of the body. You can use it for a food bath, you can use it for a food bath, you will see it in a moment. Um, we have the product to regulate the intestinal flora. All the 12 strains known to be beneficial are included there and also a prebiotic that feeds the bacteria. We have the uh, Ryobita, which is a multivitamin product with trace elements as well. Again, it regulates the body and uh, pops up any deficits. We have a product to help with the detoxification. It's in a beautiful ECM. It affects directly the detoxification of the extracellular matrix in the body. So, for example, heavy metals, removing heavy metals from the body. It's the herb compound with chlorella, uh, very high quality. So, this is just giving you an example. Yeah. We know from research. How many? Oh really? It's okay. <laughs> Three more minutes. Uh, we know from research that um, uh, the acidity in the body is a good breeding ground for harmful bacteria. And we know that um, cancer cells pro proliferate very nicely, for example, in an acidic environment. But in an alkaline environment, um, that's not so much possible. So it's important to bring the organism in an equilibrium. I already mentioned the effects of electromagnetic pollution. So he is just mentioning that there is a number of frequencies that we have identified to um, place a burden on the body. It affects the cellular system, the heart, the epiphysis in the brain, and the nucleus of the cell. So these are all vital areas of the body that need support. Here's a, um, a little study, it just shows um, what effect electromagnetic radiation can have. 
These four chips you can see on these pictures, they have all kinds of efficiencies and deformations. Imagine what it's like to place a mobile phone close to your head. Yeah, for long periods of time. This is the effects that can happen with mobile phone radiation. There's a lot of research out there now. Possible symptoms cause, you can see the list there, I won't go through it, you can just have a look at it. There's a long list. I mentioned geopathic interference fields, water veins, these are underground water courses, tectonic destructions or what we call shiftings in the earth's crust, and there's also energetic lines that run, that are, kept, are covering the whole earth and we call them the global grid. Again, the combination of these things um, can cause much harm to the organism. Here's some idea about water veins. I don't have so much time, so I'll go through a little bit quicker. Uh, here's uh, nicely showing the example of a tectonic destruction in the earth. It can cause an energy drain in fluids. Um, there are three global grids that are harmful to the organism. You see them over here. Um, carbon grid, the carry grid, and the bank system. The bottom line is, if you are sleeping in a bedroom and you have these systems running through the bed uh, underneath you, uh, it will be very difficult to have a good sleep or to, make, or to have a good cell metabolism. Um, these things directly affect the cell membrane um, of the body, so the exchange of nutrients and waste products in and out of the cells is compromised. Field changes, shifting of polarity, draining energy, and weakening of cell feeding power. These are all the effects. Again, there's a list of symptoms there that could show as a result of this. The solutions, we have developed devices that regulate the body in the presence of these problems. It doesn't take away the problem, because that's all not possible. But it helps the body to regulate. So we are um, harmonizing the frequencies that are disturbed by this problem. So that you can still feel well in the presence of the problem. Yeah. So there's a number of devices there. Um, the duplex unit addresses geopathic stresses. The rhinitis next to it addresses electrosmog. So you can place this into a room or and, and, and then hit the whole house. I think I'm really done. Thank you for your patience. Um, detectors. We have various ways of getting the frequencies into the body. Like this treatment chair that you see there, the detectors is already built into it. We have blankets, so people can lie on the blankets. And then we see the frequencies. Here's an example of a foot bath that we do. Yeah, for example, with the bath soap, we place one of the metal detectors into the water and we run a detoxification program. And at the same time, the bath soap helps to regulate the body and to get the toxins out of the body. We can treat pregnant women, yeah. It's used successfully um, also in a case of infertility. No negative side effects. Babies and children, not a problem. And they respond very quickly and very easily to the treatment. Here you see a nice example. If you put a blanket into the crib or into a car seat, and you can affect the regulation of the body. Elderly people, we have solutions for uh, harmonizing elderly people as well. They have uh, special conditions, of course. The metabolism has slowed down and other problems, toxins in the body and so forth. Poor water balance. The immune system is not working so well. Allergy problems, um, very successful with bioresonance going to Auschwitz. And here are just a couple of examples in the end to show you what can be done. Um, this uh, lady, 
very heavy, suffering from psoriasis. After six months, the problem is cleared up. She's tried everything before and it has worked. Gout, yeah? You know all about this. The low uh, curing alcohol free diet didn't work for this person. We were given the right base, mornings and evenings, and of course, harmonizations with the system, and the urine acid reduced after six weeks um, to a great extent, and further after 12 weeks. Here is a uh, last example of the dialysis of the person who reported a dialysis in a person 18 years old. So this is just giving you an example of the programs that we would be using. And before the treatment, very high 4.5 milligrams per deciliter in the skin of the uh, patient. And after the treatment, after 8 weeks of treatment, with the system down to 1.99 milligrams. Normal range is between 0.6 and 1. So these are impressive results. Guess what? You can use this for animals. We have a whole system for the veterinary field. Bioregions for the portion. Analyzing and harmonizing pets. We have programs for horses and pets and dogs. Very popular in Germany and abroad as well. Almost nothing is impossible. This is the last slide I'll show you. You need your goldfish to be harmonized, no problem. Thank you for your patience.